Hello, Billy Trimbo here from the Cisco TAC team. Since the day Cisco Jabber first launched, the jabber-config.xml file has been a key to configuration for the client's hundreds of different parameters, as well as the source of many problems involving syntax issues with the XML format. Thankfully, as of Cisco Unified Communications Manager version 12.5, there is now the option to create the Jabber client configuration from a UC service in the GUI. Here are some advantages of creating the Jabber client configuration from a UC service. Using the GUI avoids XML format syntax errors that are so common with TAC cases. Multiple Jabber configurations can be created for custom service profiles. Changes can be made easily and tested with specific clients if desired. And finally, there is no need for CUCM TFTP service restarts after creating a Java configuration. Only a Java restart will be needed. Please also note the following. The UC service profile will take precedence over any other Java XML configuration. This includes a default java-config.xml manually uploaded to the CUCM TFTP server and any XML configuration in the Cisco support field. Expired and deprecated Jabber parameters are not available in the UC service profile list. And Jabber version 12.5 is the minimum version for using the UC service profile reliably. Now let's step through how to configure this UC service for all Cisco Jabber clients. From the Communications Manager Administration page menu, choose User Management, User Settings, and UC Service. From here, click Add New and change the UC Service Type drop down menu to the Jabber Client Configuration, Jabber config.xml. After clicking Next, you will see that you can provide your desired name for this configuration and a description. In the Jabber Configuration Parameters area, you will see two sections available. The first one is a single configuration for Jabber with the familiar XML tags for client, options, phone, etc. We'll focus on this first. Let's say I want to enable persistent chat for my Jabber clients. I will select the Client section and then from the parameter column, the choices for the client configuration become available. I'll select the persistent chat enabled parameter and then change the default value from false to true. Now let's add another line and also configure the location for Jabber contact photos. Clicking Save will confirm my configurations and leave a new line for additional configurations when I need it. For the second section, you will see that multiple parameters are available. There are two specific configurations where Jabber needs more than one parameter. Let's configure a custom tab in Jabber where this XML section would be needed. When the configuration is complete, we can save this page. We can also make a copy of this configuration to a second Jabber client configuration to make any changes we might want for another set of users. I'm going to set a policy on this configuration to disable file transfer and name it as such. Now you can see that I have two Jabber client configurations for my UC services. These can be applied to a service profile which we can access from the same user management menu. Here I have two service profiles. One is my default and the other is for users where I want to disable the file transfer option. At the bottom of this service profile, all we need to do is select the Jabber client configuration that adds the parameter to disable file transfer. Now this can be easily applied to any end user page. 
You can see how much easier using this UC service is over the antiquated jabber-config.xml file. Please check the Cisco Tech Video Portal for more video content. Thank you for watching.